Hard to believe what we were dealing with five years ago today. That picture on the left, courtesy of Jim Doran, and it was a winter wonderland. We had a record shattering 12 and a half inches of snowfall here in the Dallas Fort Worth area, officially at DFW. Meantime, on the right, a picture of the beautiful sunrise this morning, courtesy of Brenda Burks. That was just south of Paris and many locations today getting up close to 70 degrees. It's going to continue to be a wild ride here for the next several days. Down we go tomorrow, topping out only around 52 degrees. 62 then on Friday, getting close to 70 on Valentine's Day. That looks to be the best day here of the bunch. And then we'll take a dip here on Sunday back down into the low to mid 50s. Briefly warmer on Monday at 60. And then the temperatures come crashing down as Arctic air pushes in here late Monday night into Tuesday. High officially at DFW 67, 7 degrees above the average of 60 for this time of the year. Pollen count was high today at 343, but to only about a third of the 991 count that we saw yesterday. UV index moderate at 4. 53 Dallas, 50 in Fort Worth, 49 Carrollton, 47 in Frisco with a gusty north wind. In fact, that wind now is sustained out of the north at 23 miles an hour, the dew point at 38. Current temperature readings, 44 in Gainesville, 49 in Mineral Wells, 45 Graham, 48 McKinney, 46 Paris, and still hovering in the upper 50s down around Corsicana. Those northerly winds will continue to push in the chilly air overnight tonight, dropping temperatures into the mid to upper 30s early tomorrow morning. But factor in a 10 to 15 mile per hour wind, and it's going to feel at least 5 degrees cooler when you factor in that wind chill. Highs then tomorrow afternoon with bright sunshine will top out uh, generally only in the low 50s. Not a lot of moisture here, unfortunately. We may squeeze out a few sprinkles, but that would be it. Uh, these northerly winds will start to subside as we head into a tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. Then they abruptly shift to the south southwest on Friday. And look at that, that boosts our temperatures into the low 60s to wrap up the work week. Big pattern change will take place as we head into early next week. The jet stream buckles south. That opens the door wide open for Arctic air to spill southward into North Texas. And we may be looking at highs in the 30s in parts of North Texas Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. A lot of moving parts here. It's just too far out to call for any wintry weather at this point. But it does look like it's going to turn much colder. 52 tomorrow. 62 Friday, close to 70 on Saturday, 50 Sunday, back up to 60 with some rain on President's Day. And then as we dry out Tuesday afternoon, we will plummet teens to low 20s by early Wednesday morning.